Uh, so let's start with here. Uh, I have I have written minus four in another form. Okay, but the question is to find alpha given that alpha to the power of four equals minus four. I'm going to write in this manner. Four times e to the power i, two k minus one times pi. All right. So. Uh, now let's just start taking the square root of this guy and uh, it would be pretty straightforward to find the roots of alpha. Uh, so I would say, let's take the square roots, alright, let's go let's just dive right into it. Alpha to the power 2 equals plus and minus 2, square root of 4 is 2, e to the power, by the way, whenever you take the square root, you can remember you you put uh, you divide the exponent by two. So I divided the exponent here, which was one by two. So we ended up four, four to the power one over two became two. I would do the same thing with i, e to the i, e to the power i two k minus one times pi divided by two, just because I took this square root. Okay. Uh, now let me take the square root again. But um, let's write it down, you'll see how does it look like. Alpha would be equal to, okay. So I'm going to square root, take the square root of plus two times this guy. So it would be plus and minus square root of two times e to the power i 2k minus one times p divided by four. And once I'm going to take the square root of minus two times that guy. So minus one is equal to i to the power uh, two. Okay, remember that was the definition. So the square root of i to the power two is i. So I'll have plus and minus i because of the minus one here, square root of two e to the power i times 2k minus 1 times p divided by 4. Okay, that was perfect. So we have something in here. We have something, but uh, it doesn't look lovely. Let us do something. Uh, we, we have e to the power i times something. We can use the Euler's formula. All I have to do we, uh, is to replace theta by 2k minus 1 times p over 4 and use this formula to write things in this manner. Then I know what is the cosine, what's the value of a cosine and a sine that's much easier to handle. Okay, so let me do that too. All right, let's go down a little bit. All right, so let me start from the first guy plus square root of 2. So I'll just put square root of 2 times, uh, so we had Euler's formula had cosine times theta and this guy would be theta. Whatever is multiplied by i is theta. So cosine of 2k minus 1 times pi over 4. Right? Plus i times sine of 2k minus 1 pi over 4. Okay? That was about it. That was the first guy. That was the, that was the first guy up here, the plus this. I should do the same thing for minus 1 plus a minus 1 and uh, write out exactly the same thing, but I'm just going to do one of them and you can do all the rest. I'll give you the answer and you can do the rest and figure out that the answer is actually correct. So let's see, uh, what is the cosine of pi over 2 times, I don't know, 1, 2, 3, 4, whatever it is, because this thing would be essentially 1, 2, 3, uh, sorry, it would be 1, 3, 5, and blah, blah, blah. So uh, cosine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 divided by 2, but uh, cosine of 3 times pi over 4 is minus that value, so it just goes from minus 1 to plus 1 all the time. 
So this fellow in here would become plus and minus square root of 2 divided by 2. The same story is valid for sine. So this guy is also plus and minus square root of 2 divided by 2. Now, look how convenient. We, if you multiply square root of 2 by the uh, nominators, we can cancel out with the denominators and we'll end up with... Uh, I'll just write it out. Plus and minus 1 plus i. Alright, so we have i, they all have 1 here, they all have i times 1, and we have a plus and a minus, so I put it on the other side. Okay, you can do the, exactly the same thing for the rest of the guys in here, the minus, the plus, and minus, and you will essentially find four unique answers to alpha. So alpha 1 there are four of them. So alpha 1 would be equal to, for instance, 1 plus i. Alpha 2 would become minus 1 plus i. Alpha 3 becomes minus 1 plus i. And alpha 4, 1 minus i. Okay, so that would be the four alphas. You can test that and you can uh, power each one of these alpha to the four and you will see that you will end up with minus four. Okay, so um, we needed that to move on to the next differential equation.